Welcome to OneSignal. In this video, we will show you how to get started with sending SMS notifications. We will show you how to 1. Create a OneSignal app for SMS. 2. Obtain your Trulia account credentials. 3. Adding SMS records. And 4. Sending SMS to a segment. Step 1. Creating a OneSignal app for SMS. Creating a new app for sending SMS notifications is very easy. To get started, navigate into your OneSignal dashboard and create a new app if you have not yet done so. Uh, to create a new app, just click here where it says new app and then it's going to ask you to for app credentials here and you can select the SMS platform. Now if you have already created a OneSignal app, all you need to do is navigate to your settings page here, settings, platform, and then go into where it says SMS module and activate it. Once you have activated your SMS module, you'll be asked for both a Trulia account um, SID and Trulia account off token, as you can see here. Step two, obtain your Trulia account credentials. To get these credentials, please navigate into your Trulia account and you should find it within your main page of your created Trulia dashboard. So if you go into Trulio here and then create, uh, click on your main page console here, um, you'll be presented with the account SID and off token. So just go ahead and copy these details over to your uh, OneSignal SMS uh, page. And after you click next, you should be presented with available phone numbers that you have set up within your Trulio account. Um, from here, once you select the numbers, uh, the number that you would like to send notifications from, you could go ahead and test it out by sending a test notification. Step 3. Adding SMS records. Adding SMS numbers into one signal is super easy. There's multiple options, as using a CSV import file, API, SDK method, and general web prompt. For this video, we will demonstrate the simple option of using a CSV import file. When using a CSV import option, the most important detail is to format the file according to our sample template, which can be found in our dashboard. To find this template, just go into your dashboard, click on Audience, Subscriptions, Update Import Users, and then you'll find this template under the Import Phone Numbers here. You could go ahead and download this template um, I have already downloaded this template, uh, and this is how it's going to look. You have three columns, external ID, phone number, and then subscribed. For this sample, I have already provided the users here, uh, the external user ID, phone numbers, which is the most important thing to know about phone numbers is that you have to structure it according to the EDAS164 format. And then you could select whether you want this device to be subscribed or not. Yes is for yes, and then no. So once you're ready, you could go ahead and upload this file here, and then it will be really, it will be quick. Once it's uploaded, it's gonna ask you whether you want to create a segment for these devices. So you could later down the road, create personalized uh, notifications. In this case, I wanna create a segment and call it paid. Um, that way we could say that these are paid users and I want to target them with a some sort of special for for them being a paid customer. So I could go ahead and confirm and return to the all users page and then here you find the three devices uploaded. And on the tags you find paid equals true. And this is how we create a segment here the paid segment, and we can see that it has three de SMS devices. And the way that this works is that the segment um, is looking for devices that have the paid tag exist. And since we have three of these devices that have the paid tag, it's gonna show it here. And we could later down the road target these devices with specific notifications regarding paid uh, notifications that you may wanna send. Step four, 
sending SMS to a segment. Now let's say that you want to send an, a special SMS notification to all your paid customers. All you have to do now is create a segment by going into your segments page. In this case, we have already created a, a paid segment based on the tag paid exist. And we see that we have three devices here. Now to send a notification, uh, SMS notifications to all these three devices, all you have to do is go into messages, SMS, create your new SMS notification, and then as the entrance audience, select paid. We could give this a title, paid clients. And then you can select the number from which you, you want to send. The message, hello. Thank you for being a valued customer. If you want to upload an image or a GIF file, you could do that through here. You could select whether you want to send it immediately or a specific time. We have the send test buttons in case you want to test before sending it out to everyone. And then once you're ready to send out this uh, SMS notifications, you could click here review and then send. As you can see here, we see we have an error, which uh, because this is set in the past, it's already uh, past 8.14. So I'm just going to go ahead and for tomorrow and then review and then you can schedule it for tomorrow or you could just go ahead and send it right now.